Today, I'm talking to you about another way, another easy way to start easing joint pain and fatigue using natural methods. Are you one of those people that will, will immediately reach for the salt shaker before starting a meal? No shame in that. No judgment here. You're not alone. As Americans, we have free access to this seasoning and we use it liberally, don't we? But by doing this, you may be missing a perfectly good opportunity to add flavor to your meal and reduce chronic inflammation, which in turn will help reduce any joint pain and discomfort that you might be feeling. How? By adding spices instead of salt. So we all know that spices add amazing flavors to our food, but did you know that they can also be powerful allies for your health especially when it comes to maintaining healthy joints and staying young. Today, I thought I'd talk to you about why you might want to think about adding more flavor into your meals with spices and gain the added benefit of their surprising anti-inflammatory properties. So inflammation in itself isn't bad, right? In fact, it's a natural process of our body and it actually helps us. It's a way for the body to defend, to defend itself and heal itself from injury. But chronic inflammation occurs because for whatever reason, the body's natural systems designed to stop inflammation remain activated or malfunction. And the result is illness and disease such as arthritis or autoimmune disease. And in some cases, even cancer. So adding anti-inflammatory foods like spices into your diet is just one delicious way to keep things in balance, keeping you healthy and feeling your best. Exactly. So overall, spices are packed with great things. They have nutrients for us. We don't often think of it, them as nutrients, but they do have nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that our body needs to function properly. They also have our concentrated sources of bioactive compounds, unique molecules that offer various health benefits. And these bioactive compounds known as antioxidants, you might be familiar with that word. They act like tiny little warriors in our body, fighting free radicals that cause damage and helping to reduce the damage caused by chronic inflammation. So right now you might be asking, well, which spices should I be adding to my anti-inflammatory arsenal, right? Well, the answer is all spices are good, but I did pick out five that I use very often and in many of my dishes, and I thought I would share them with you here today. So here are my top five picks when it comes to reducing inflammation. So number one on my list, is turmeric. All right. You can see I have some very big containers of turmeric and number three over here that we'll get into later on. But you can think of turmeric maybe as the king of spices when it comes to fighting inflammation. Not only does it add a bright golden color to all the dishes that you're, you make, but it's packed with potent anti-inflammatory compounds. And the star of these compounds is called curcumin. You may have heard that before. Sometimes you can get curcumin in capsules because it's that potent. But curcumin can act like a natural pain reliever and by helping reduce inflammation throughout the body. So we're getting kind of medicine in a bottle here, but it tastes good. <laughs> Unlike some medicines, right? So what do you do with turmeric? Well, you could sprinkle it into your eggs. If you're making scrambled eggs, it gives a nice bright golden color to your eggs. Um, you could add it to a smoothie or you could whip up some golden milk and add some of the turmeric in for a delicious flavor and health boost to it. I actually like to add turmeric. And you can get fresh turmeric. Look for it in the grocery store or at the farmer's market. It's very small. It's a root and with a bright, bright orange color. Um, I'd like to blend that up 
and put it into the freezer. And then I'll just throw it into a soup or stew as I'm cooking. Works really well. So on to number two. Number two on the list is ginger. And I have two different versions here. One as a powder and one in its original form, which is a root. Ginger, as you know, is a, has a pungent, spicy flavor. And you might associate the flavor with Asian cooking or in curries. Wonderful, adds wonderful flavors to those dishes. The health benefits though, come from a compound called gingerol. This compound is known for its anti-inflammatory and pain relieving properties. Very good for us. And additionally, ginger can help relieve nausea and vomiting and aid in digestion. So I like to grate ginger Fresh, if I have it, I always reach for fresh if I have it, but I grate, grate it into stir fries. It's, it's fabulous in stir fries or soups. Um, and you can even make a tea with it uh, for a nice soft soothing break during the day. Ginger and turmeric combined together make a wonderful tea. In fact, um, there are tea bags that have it. Uh, Trader Joe's actually carries a great turmeric and ginger tea that I enjoy very often. All right, so that moves us on to number three. Number three is cinnamon, something probably very familiar to you. Um, I know it's found in, in so many different foods. It's very versatile. It has a sweet, pungent flavor and can be found in meals like savory meat dishes. So it's not always for sweets. It can be found in uh, things, uh, savory meat dishes such as Moroccan stew um, or Indian curries, yes. Um, or in more familiar uh, foods, sweet foods, little desserts, cakes, desserts, those cinnamon buns, mm, right? Exactly, very good for us, but good for us because it has anti-inflammatory benefits along with it. So the cinnamaldehyde that's in it, and that's a mouthful, is the compound that helps reduce inflammation and it even helps improve blood sugar levels. So good to know. You can sprinkle cinnamon in your oatmeal in the morning. I like to do the cinnamon with my turmeric. It's a great combination. You can sprinkle it into yogurt, stir it into yogurt, even savory dishes, like I said, like that Moroccan stew. Um, it'll, it gives a little bit of sweetness to any dish that it's added to, but also anti-inflammatory goodness. Next on the list, number four is cayenne pepper. A spicy little spice, a hot little spice. All right, so of those of you who know me, I am a wimp when it comes to really spicy foods, but I do know the benefits of adding some hot spices in to our meals because they actually do help reduce inflammation and actually help with joint pain. So there's actually um, ointments that uh, have the active ingredient, which is capsaicin in it. And that helps to actually ease pain in the area. So when you get a chance, start thinking about adding in some uh, cayenne, or red pepper flakes, any hot pepper has capsaicin in it and it does has the same effect. Just as a precautionary note, if you're starting out, start low and slow. <laughs> Don't add too much too soon. You might regret it. And you wanna be able to build up and get used to the flavor. And you actually do come to, to really enjoy it. Trust, trust me, I know, because I've been doing it. You can add it to sauces, marinades. You can even add it to the scrambled eggs. Uh, it has a nice little spicy kick with benefits. All right. And remember, a little bit goes a long way. All right. We're down to number five. How do we get here so fast? All right. Number five is garlic. And again, I have the cloves here and the powder. Either one will add benefits to your meal that you're making. 
So garlic comes from the same family as onions and shallots, leeks and chives. It's a kitchen staple. For me, I have it, I add, I probably use garlic almost every day. Probably part of my Italian background, right? But um, it is a, also a treasure trove of anti-inflammatory compounds. And in this case, the compounds are called allicin, all right? And it's, um, you could try including garlic in, you know, um, almost anything. It's good too for helping lower blood pressure and cholesterol, thanks to the antioxidant powers that it has. And it'll keep vampires away too. <laughs> just a little aside, right? I'm just kidding there, but um, garlic is also a strong antimicrobial, which means it can help protect us from infection and getting sick. It actually um, is thought to be able to um, shorten the duration if you do have a cold. So add fresh garlic to stir fries, marinades, um, even roasted vegetables. Oh, roasted vegetables is a great place to put it to add flavor and a healthy boost. All right. So there you have the top five that I picked out because there are so many to pick from. We have our turmeric, our ginger, cinnamon cayenne pepper, and garlic, all right? And remember, these are just a few examples. I encourage you to explore the vast world of spices and discover your favorites. So just before I go, a few additional tips. One is try combining spices for even greater anti-inflammatory power. So curries contain a multitude of anti-inflammatory spices all in one dish. So a typical curry can, oh, and I just happen to have some of those spices here, can include, in addition to the turmeric, the ginger, and the garlic, it could have a little bit of the cayenne, but cardamom is one, coriander, cumin, one of my favorites, and you can also buy it as a mixed curry. So when you buy curry in the store, it's actually a mix. So different curries have different mixes. Best part is if you're making your own, you can play with the, the spices that you add in. So try mixing them up, blend them together. Um, as I said, try turmeric and cinnamon together. You can try that in that milk, um, the, um, uh, Milk, um, golden milk, sorry. Had a, a momentary loss of <laughs> senior moment. The golden milk that I, I mentioned before. Or you can sprinkle cinnamon and cayenne pepper on roasted vegetables for more flavor. Again, combining them. So another thing too is use fresh whenever possible. And that applies to your herbs as well with their spices. So oregano and basil, if you have fresh, Add those in because fresh ground spices or, or even freshly ground spices offer more vibrant flavor and potential bioactive compounds. And that also applies to looking into how old your spices are. So the older they are, the more likely the active compounds um, aren't quite as active anymore. And as I said with the cayenne, Start small and gradually increase. So let your taste buds adjust to the new flavors while enjoying the anti-inflammatory benefits. And then last but not least, have fun. Experiment and find creative ways to incorporate spices into your dishes. So I hope I've convinced you to ditch the salt shaker and embrace the spice rack. By incorporating these flavorful anti-inflammatory spices into your diet, you can add zest to your meals and fight inflammation naturally at the same time. So remember, small changes can make a big difference in your health. So spice up your life and feel the difference. All right, so before I go, I just wanted to mention that I've incorporated a lot of these spices in my guide, my top five favorite recipes for reducing joint pain. And I'd love to share them with you. So just leave a me in the comment section or message me for your copy today. I'll send it right over to you. 
All right. Enjoy your spices. Let me know which of these are in your spice cabinet. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.